Where is human nature, so, weak as in the bookstore? We should not judge people by their peak of excellence, but by the distance they have traveled from the point where they started. Books are not made for furniture, but there is nothing else that so beautifully furnishes a house. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects of you. Never excuse yourself. Never pity yourself. Be a hard master to yourself and be lenient to everybody else. The unthankful heart discovers no mercies, but the thankful heart will find, in every hour, some heavenly blessings. Never forget what a man says to you when he is angry. Every artist dips his brush in his own soul, and paints his own nature into his pictures. A noble man compares and estimates himself by an idea which is higher than himself, and a mean man, by one lower than himself. The one produces aspiration, the other ambition, which is the way in which a vulgar man aspires. The art of being happy lies in the power of extracting happiness from common things. Love cannot endure indifference, it needs to be wanted. Like a lamp, it needs to be fed out of the oil of another's heart, or its flame burns low. A person without a sense of humor is like a wagon without springs, jolted by every pebble in the road. Hold yourself to a higher standard than anyone else expects of you. Never excuse yourself. No man is more cheated than the selfish man. There are more quarrels smothered by just shutting your mouth, and holding it shut, than by all the wisdom in the world. Troubles are often the tools by which God fashions us for better things. Greatness lies not in being strong, but in the right use of strength. There is no friendship, no love, like that of the mother for the child. A little library, growing every year, is an honorable part of a man's history. It is a man's duty to have books. Now comes the mystery, last words.